<laughs> you ready, B? Let's go get him. <laughs> Look for me, young B. So yeah, how did you and Rashad meet? Back in the fourth or fifth grade. We started in, uh, I believe, like third grade. Um, our teachers were having sex at the time. Um, elementary school, James Hurst. Um, I think it was 94, 95. Um, one of the best school years. <laughs> um, we had Mrs. Bullman. She was a great teacher. I don't know if she was a man or a woman because she had an Adam's apple. So that was kind of weird for a woman to have an Adam's apple, but she did have a child, so. I remember she did look rather pretty, but I was like very shy. So I ain't never say nothing, but during Valentine's Day, I did like write like a little note. You know, I used to put out, you know, candy in people's bags. I put like a blow pop in with little note that says like you know I like you like secret admirer type stuff yeah I was real corny and shy yeah that anyway uh, we met in elementary school Rashad was a really quiet kid he hung out with this one one kid that was of a different <laughs> race and that was the only person he hung out with I don't remember him being around anybody else. I just remember him staying to himself and being really quiet, so I didn't really talk to him much. I didn't think he liked black people. But I always said that she was going to be mine one day and I always get what I want. So that's pretty much how that went. If we fast forward about how many years? That was 95? Like 15. About 15 years, fast forward. 2010 um, I was actually having a party for my graduation at my cousin's house all right, so I got there and um I was getting pretty drunk like rather tipsy shout out to Sean for and Darnell for like the best beer run ever the most hilarious thing ever um, so we got there I seen, you know, this chick in the corner who like she had an attitude, but I don't know what. To me and say, hey, I remember you. Oh, I know, I think I remember you from somewhere. And I was like, okay, so I'm thinking he's gonna say like, you seen me around. And he's like, you went to James Hurst. I'm like, who remembers me from James Hurst, but a stalker. And then I looked at her and I was like, you look very familiar. And then she said her name was Keisha. I like your effing lie. So um, it's like, yeah, that was me. And he told me his name. I was like, okay, I remember who he was. That was the little guy who didn't like black people. Then proceeded to have a crazy night throwing, you know, wine shots back. So I was pretty drunk probably after that. But I remember them playing like some game like sleepers or something like that. And pretty much they were trying to get me naked. But I wasn't falling for it. Because I don't think I had draws on that day. From that day, um, actually the, later on that night we talked for a little while. And then he was so drunk that um, the night ended with him holding a trash can in his hand. And my best friend put it on his lap. So before I completely passed out. You know, we just had a little conversation. I was like, and even while I was drunk, I had drunk thoughts like, you know, she's cool. I need to try to find her or get her phone number before she leaves. But then the alcohol took over and I passed out on the couch. And after she left, I ended up throwing up wine on the carpet, which I don't think I ever paid the niggas anything for the carpet, but. Anywho. And that was in that night. So next day I went to the house and I was uh, completely hungover. Like, didn't leave the bed all day. Um, so I was thinking like, yo, I need to find her. So I was being proactive. And um, I was like, you know what? Where can I find her at? I was like, you know what? Everybody's on Facebook. Why don't I look 
there. Maybe the next day or so, it was the next day, he stalked my friend's Facebook page to find out who I was because my page is private. But he went down my friend's um, <laughs> friends list to see if I was a friend with them and then found me and sent me a message on Facebook. Some people might call that being stalker. I call that being aggressive. And um, just simple message. And the first thing I said was, well, you know, we can be friends, but I'm not looking for a boyfriend, so. We talked, and then she fed me some BS about her being busy. Who really believes that? Um, you know, like, you know, mind if I get your number so we can talk sometime? She was like, sure, but, you know, I'm just so busy, you know, blah, 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 blah. Like, who really cares about all that? And so, um, I guess we talked for a couple of days, and because I was so busy at that point in my life, you know, I told him that, you know, I didn't want him to feel like I was blowing him off because I was so busy, but he just needed to know. So just, I gave him a lot of preliminaries for no reason. So we got, you know, we was texting. We were doing the texting thing for a while. Texting and talking. Had a nice conversation, so we decided to meet up. And then she told me she was a vegan. And I was like, how am I going to plan a day if she a vegan? She don't eat nothing. And I was like, we could just go get a bag of lettuce or something and make salads. But I was like, let's go to Red Star. They have... I don't know, fettuccine or that's cheese. Or cheese man. They got something green. And it was so funny because the whole time we were looking, we were there. Rashad was doing something weird with his eyes. He was looking around like some ex-girlfriend was going to pop out and like, you know, bash us or something. I mean, she's saying I was looking all over the place, but I really wasn't. I just like to be aware of my surroundings. So. It was kind of weird, but at the same time, it was like one of the best days ever. Um, it was the longest day that I have ever been on in my life. I think we were there for about four, four or five hours. And then I couldn't really get a vibe for if she, you know, liked me or not. You know, it was just weird. I like, you know, we've been here for four hours, so that's a positive, but she just real standoffish, so I don't know how to really play this, so. But um, it was great. You know, I, I didn't want to leave. It was like very rainy outside and I had a fresh ball head, so it was cold. My head was probably like had a little steam or something on it. So um walked to the car and then I was like, you know, I don't really know how to play this. Should I go in for the kiss? Should I go for the hug and like grab the booty cheeks? And so I guess I left there with mixed feelings because um of course I was, you know, in a different state. I wasn't really looking. For anyone in particular at that time and you know I just really wanted someone to have fun with a good friend and that's pretty much what happened with that um so the funniest part of that night though is when we were walking back to the car and Rashad gave me a church hug you know the little pat like this yeah when you stick your butt out and give a person a hug he gave me one of those um I almost thought he was going to just shake my hand it was kind of weird so um that was the funniest part of the night. Um, that was pretty much it. Yeah. That was a wrap after that. Locked it down. All I need in this life is sin. It's me and my girlfriend. Me and my girlfriend. Down the ride to the bed again. It's